In this video we share Our Lady of Knock and the prophetic future of the Church. After almost 150 years, Our Lady reappears and gives a message to Father Michel Rodriguez. Our Lady of Knock spoke to Father Michel Rodriguez in the sanctuary of his apparitions about the situation of the Church and the world today. And he explained to him that his appearance in Knock almost 150 years ago, and that it was approved by the Church, was a message that pointed to the tribulation that is happening now, and gave him details. While Jesus Christ informed him about the events that will come and the protection that the faithful will have. Here we will talk about what was the message given by Our Lady of Knock in 1879, what she told us for our time and what were the messages that Our Lady and Jesus Christ gave to Father Michel Rodriguez about what is coming to the world and to the Church now. On August 21, 1879, between 7.15 p.m. and 9.30 p.m., in the small town of Knock, in the county of Mayo, in the northwest of Ireland, Our Lady made a silent public appearance, known as the appearance of Our Lady of Knock. Several life-size figures were seen to the west on the outer wall of the church, surrounded by light. And also the figures moved, they were not statues, and they were suspended in the air at half a meter high. Fifteen people witnessed the scene of the Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph, Saint John the Evangelist and a lamb on an altar. Those who witnessed the apparition during the rain and began to recite the Holy Rosary. This was corroborated by a series of testimonies of people who saw the extraordinary light generated by the phenomenon at a distance of two kilometers or more. And there were reports of unexplained cures associated with the phenomenon. It is an apparition approved by the church. The altar with the lamb and the cross were surrounded by angels that revolved around. Maria was the largest figure and wore a white mantle and girdle and a long veil which lowered to her feet from her head. His head wore a gold crown. And between the crown and the edge of the veil he wore a gold rose. His hands were directed to the sky and his gaze absorbed in prayer. Street Joseph was to the right of Mary, with his head tilted forward and his hands joined in prayer. And Saint John the Evangelist had a bishop's mitre and was to the left of Mary, his right hand was raised and his left arm was holding what looked like a Bible. Weeks later, an official commission of inquiry was established by the Archbishop, and the testimony of fifteen witnesses aged between five and seventy-five years was taken. The commission found that the testimony of all, as a whole, was trustworthy and satisfactory. And many years later, in 1936, a second commission confirmed the verdict of the first. The appearance of Knock gives us an idea of the liturgy of heaven as described in the book of Revelation 5. Mary wore the golden crown of the Queen of Heaven, which shows the mystery of the woman dressed in the sun and who presents herself normally on earth. In the center of the altar shone the immolated lamb, as Saint John saw it in the Apocalypse, on the golden altar of heaven. Saint John had a book in his hands telling us that, if you want to discover Knock's message, you have to open the book of the Apocalypse. Which is the book that contains the interpretation of universal history in the eyes of heaven. This scene happened on the same day that Pope Leo XIII was crowning the Virgin of La Salette, as public and official recognition by the Church, to an apparition three decades earlier. He is the same Pope who created the prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel, due to his vision of demons attacking the Vatican and also the one who had the vision of Jesus Christ giving more power to Satan, for a while, because he had challenged him by saying that he could destroy the church. So what Knock shows in silence is the crisis in the prophesied church in La Salette, and the presence of Saint John in the scene, confirms that this is part of the prophecy of the Apocalypse of the Bible. The presence of the author of the Book of Revelation, along with Christ as an immolated lamb, confirms to us that this apparition is of an apocalyptic nature. And that refers to the opening of the roll with seven seals that is described in Revelation 5 and following, where the four riders of the apocalypse appear, which are directly related to the wars and rumors of wars that Jesus Christ mentioned in the speech of the Olives of Matthew 24. And that we can land in the period that encompasses the agitations of the 20th century and this part of the 21st century, while the presence of Saint Joseph on the scene is giving the message that no matter how serious the crisis is, 
he will continue to protect the church and take it to a safe harbor as he did with the Holy Family, in the silence and reserve, with which he carries out his great work. And that the faithful must turn to him and his most holy wife, the Virgin Mary, in this crisis. So then, the crisis that the Virgin predicted in La Salette is prophesied in the Apocalypse. In the apparition in La Salette in 1846, Our Lady said that Rome will lose its faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. That the priests, ministers of my son, for their bad lives, their irreverence and their impiety in the celebration of the holy mysteries, for their love of money, their love for honors and pleasures, have become sinks of impurity, that the church will have a frightening crisis and many convents are no longer houses of God, but places for the devil and his own and that the church will be in eclipse, and the world will be in dismay. The same thing was also explained to the Canadian mystic Father Michel Rodriguez in 2019, in the same place as Knox appearances. Being in the chapel of the place of the apparitions, on October 11, 2019, Our Lady explained to Father Rodriguez the precise meaning of Knox's message. He told him, the church will be sacrificed, as my son was. My faithful will suffer before entering the places prepared for you. The cross of the Lamb will soon shine for the earth and for each person. They will see their consciences when they see the Lamb of God on the cross. It will be the day of his enlightenment. He was referring to the warning or enlightenment of conscience prophesied in Garabandal, which he later expanded by saying, My prayerful attitude, standing and looking up, and waiting with open arms, is for the arrival of that warning day for everyone. The attitude of prayer shown by Joseph teaches the church what it must now understand, prayers, penance, penance. He also explained the silent message of Saint John at the scene, who was the last apostle to die, at the age of 94, saying, John represents the hierarchy of the church in these days of confusion. Only the true teachings that go back to the apostles and have been transmitted through the living tradition of the church, as revealed by the Holy Spirit, will protect you from false prophets and false teaching. And Our Lady ended up making a call, she said, I call the apostles of the last times. Listen to what I said in La Salette and Akita. The time is coming. Be ready. Confess your sins. Go to the confessional fast and pray the rosary, which will save you from the hell snares. Pray to your guardian angel. Worship my son in the blessed sacrament of the Eucharist. Meditate on the words of my son, the Lamb of God, in the Gospel of John and in his book of Revelation. And in the end I promise you the triumph of my immaculate heart. And two days later and in the same place, Father Rodriguez received a message from Jesus Christ saying, A great darkness now comes over the world, a darkness of sin, of misery, of Satan that will try to disfigure the face of my body, which is my church. He will try to disfigure my face in the Holy Eucharist with an abominable sacrilege. At that time, the time will be over. A great disaster will envelop the world, like never before. Rome will fall. And he talked about the protection of the faithful, he said. Satan will never prevail over my just and faithful remnant, the sign will be in heaven, and my father's hand will overcome the darkness of Satan, his false prophet, and his elusive acolytes. Get ready for this day. My mother will protect my righteous everywhere, in the shelters prepared by her immaculate heart. Well, so far what we wanted to talk about Knox's appearances, his symbology and his interpretation, How from the beginning they told us about today's crisis, and what Jesus and Mary told Father Michel Rodriguez about what is coming. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.